lived in Boise about two years, and again I got the flu. And it turned out that I was pregnant with Brian. So Bri was the only one born out of Salt Lake. What a beautiful, special little boy he was. At three months, we discovered he had asthma. I thought surely this was more that I could stand. But the doctor assured us that children usually outgrew it. I remember the special relationship I had with mom. As a child, I had bad asthma and allergies to most pollens known to man. Mother managed these reactions to the point I seldom noticed the discomfort. The daily shots at the clinic, inhalers for asthma, and constant monitoring and testing. I was able to overcome these conditions in my teen years due to my mother's care. Such a special little spirit then, and still is. In my childhood, I spent a lot of time on the road, tracking cars and dealing with the CIT financial. But I got to go on a lot of those trips with him. I remember he would drive for miles and you'd tell him you needed to go to the bathroom and he'd say it's just around the next corner. Well, that happened on one of our trips to Chicago and the next corner was in Colorado. So I learned how to hold my bladder really well through my dad. Those trips were marvelous. We got to spend a lot of close time together. Got to go into a lot of ghost towns, which was fun for Steve and I, a couple of boys with nothing to do. We spent many, many hours throwing rocks in the Port Niff River and many rivers along the way. One of my favorite things was always going to uh, Wyoming. After a long day of hunting cars and things, we'd, he'd promise a steak dinner in this little cafe that was the only thing around for 100 miles. But we always looked forward to that and it always made the whole trip worthwhile. I looked up to my dad for everything because he was uh, the spiritual man, not to the degree that he was overbearing, but he was had a lot of wisdom. And I believed in everything he said. He was going to get in the car and he took off. And I hadn't quite made it in the car and he ran over my toe. And I yelled at him and he stopped suddenly and backed up and lo and behold, he ran over my toes again. <laughs> I got in the car fast. He was always willing to help. Uh, even times when he shouldn't have. At whatever it cost him. And I, I think that was one of his greatest features. I love them both dearly. It, it hurts to see the ones you love have to get old in the way they do. And to live through some of the indignity that that creates. And they're a shining example to me and just want to say how much I love them.
As we roll down this unfamiliar road And although this wave is stringing us along Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your Mama, I hope they have limited cheese. 